So I know weeds in the field are bad for your yield. Let's go ahead and spray them and see how much of an increase we get. How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today in Farming Simulator 23, we are going to be taking a look at how much yield increase you get from spraying weeds. Yes, I've got a bunch of weeds here in this field and the other one directly in front of it, they're both planted with soybeans and what we're going to do is spray one field and leave the other one and then harvest it and then see how much of a difference we get. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and get my sprayer set up here and then we are gonna go ahead and spray this field. And unlike in Farming Simulator 22, your entire field gets covered with weeds here in 23. You can see that the entire field is green here, and then as you spray it, it turns brown. That means that the weeds are dead. So whenever your whole field is brown, you are good to go. The entire field is now taken care of, so it is time to sleep until harvest. The soybeans are ready to harvest, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and hire a worker right here. They're going to go ahead and harvest this entire field for me, and then I'm going to put this grain into the silo. We're going to take a look at the totals, because here on the harvester, I don't, I don't have a value of how much grain is actually going into the hopper. So I've got to look at my value in my silo before and after I put it in there, and then that lets me know how much I have. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other field that doesn't have any herbicide applied to it. So the weeds are still there. And then we're going to compare those and see how much of a yield increase we get by spraying our fields. Field number one is fully harvested. This is the one that we had sprayed with herbicide. We've got all of our crop right here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how much soybeans we have. 33,177 liters. So we're going to go ahead and pull over our pit right here this is going to unload and then we're going to take a look at the value of how much we have put in there all right we're good let's go back to prices and that's going to be 36,955 that is a difference of 3,778 liters and the field size was 1.49 acres now that's going to come into play here in a little bit once we know the other total and the other field size I'm going to do some math and give you the average yield per acre on these two fields and here is the second field. I'm going to go ahead and get the worker going on it, but you can see it does still have the weeds in it. So as soon as they get done, we're going to do the exact same thing, and then we'll compare the totals. The field with all the weeds is now fully harvested as well. Let's go ahead and dump this in here and see what our new total is here in our silo. And that's going to be 40,535. That means the difference is 3,580 liters. So when I do the math on that, that gives me 2536 average yield per acre for the field that I sprayed with, and it gives me 2196 for the field that I did not spray with. Now, these numbers are skewed just a little bit because I've got a 20% boost already from plowing. Yeah, you're going to get 20% boost from plowing. So when I figure this up, I'm actually 20% more by having the weeds taken care of. So by having weeds and your plowing done, you're gonna get 40% boost. So I know it may cost a little bit to get one of those sprayers, but the 20% boost is definitely worth it. Well, that's gonna be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you wanna stay up to date on my future testing videos here on Farming Simulator 23, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.